welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to those of you who are new my name is brianna weiler today i'm going to be bringing you a walmart grocery haul it is on the smaller end it wasn't things i absolutely needed all i only had three things on my grocery list but some of these things are things i can keep in the pantry or things that i could use and i just didn't have i want to share with you what i got and i'm going to turn you around and show you yes i got a lot of bread i'm going to start here the thomas bagels i had and I bought a coupon for, and I got money back on these. So I did grab some of those. And my husband loves, or likes to have these in the morning for breakfast. And the cinnamon roll one is pretty good. I like it as well. So I grabbed that. My husband needed some more bread for lunches. So I grabbed him that as well. And then this one is maple and brown sugar. And it just sounded really good. It's one of their sweet loaves. And I can't wait to try it. I feel like this would be a really good um, breakfast toast or a like French toast. So I might make French toast this weekend. We'll see. And I will let you guys know how what I thought of the maple brown sugar one. And then I also got golden wheat bread as well in the Artisano brand. We really like this bread. It has really good flavor and whatnot. So and it's always really soft. So we got these, and one of these breads will go in the freezer. This one probably will go in the freezer if we don't eat it within the next couple of days, just because it'll last a little while. Bagels could easily go in the freezer as well. So if we don't plan on eating these right away, we can put some in the freezer until we're ready to eat it. But I know at least one of the loaves of bread will go in the fridge and I'm pretty sure the bagels or the um, sweet loaf will go in the fridge for breakfast toast for the mornings for something quick and easy to eat before work. My husband can have whatever it is he wants there, but I just thought those sounded really good. And of course, when you go to the store hungry, or at least when I go to the store hungry, I always end up buying more than what I need. So I need to make sure I snack before I go or something because I didn't think I was hungry, but I ended up buying things that I didn't need, but sounded good. So there's that. And then I also grabbed some of the ballpark hamburger buns. I want to make some hamburgers. I grabbed cheese and burger patties from Costco and I can't wait to grill out, but we are still snowy out, so it's just a bit cold. It's in the 30s still, not quite in the 50s and 60s where I like it to be when I do grill, when we do grill out, so there's that. I grabbed some ragu. I guess I should have put this one over there too. I grabbed two of the smaller jars of the ragu. These are the 24 ounce, but then I also grabbed one of the big guys, and this one is 45 ounces. There we go. 45 ounces for that ragu, and I grabbed just grabbed some sauce to have in the pantry for whenever we want pasta. I grabbed a bag of hot Cheetos. There's one of those, you know, I'm hungry. Things sound good when I'm hungry. Those just sounded good. So I grabbed a small bag. It's not a large one. It's just one of those ones that you get at the checkout real quick but on your way out. So I have that. Then I also grabbed this balsamic vinegar for a couple of marinades that I have for some chicken and different things. And I also have a recipe for a balsamic pool or not pulled shredded beef and it just sounded delicious so I grabbed a giant bottle of this it just seems huge it's 16.9 fluid ounces so I grabbed that that'll be big and last us quite some time I grabbed some this is called fruit spread doesn't say jelly or jam I usually call this jelly but I grabbed some of this smuckers natural because it didn't have I guess it doesn't have high fructose high fructose corn syrup in it but when I looked at the ingredients it was pretty simple red raspberry sugar fruit pectin and citric acid which most of those things are things you need for a jelly or jam when you make them at home anyways so I just grabbed that one I grabbed the raspberry flavor the red raspberry and the strawberry one and I can't wait to try these and they don't look like they have a ton of seeds in them which will be nice because I feel like a lot of times the jellies if you don't buy the ones that say seed free on them they tend to have like a ton of seeds in them and it's hard to enjoy the jelly or jam when it has all the seeds in it so i grabbed those one could stay in the pantry one will go in the fridge and then i grabbed a small container of some peanut butter i love peanut butter my husband doesn't really eat it much so i grabbed that and peanut butter and jelly just sounded really good for some reason so i grabbed those the pepsis i got the mini cans they were i think i had a dollar rebate on ibotta and so i got money back for those as well 
well. I just grabbed some Pepsi for my husband. I've been staying away from cola type stuff, so I grabbed that for him as like little treats to have with dinner or whatever throughout the week. And then I also grabbed this for my husband. He loves apple butter. Apple butter is really good. I like it as well, but he loves it. He uses it way more than I do. And he loves this um, Musselman's apple butter. He likes the Musselman's brand applesauce. So I figured he, and I want to say, I think he wanted this at one point and we could not find it. And it's a pretty good sized jar. It's quite a bit bigger than the Smucker's jar that I got. So there's that and I will try and put the prices in the bottom corner of this video for you guys. And then I grabbed six Mrs. Meyers hand soaps. I got the, um, this is a limited edition scent, which I have the spray of this one and I actually love the way it smells. It's not so overpowering with the mint scent. It's just a nice fresh mint. It actually smells like more like a mint plant than mint scented things. So I grabbed one of two of those. I grabbed two of the clementine scent. I smelled it, smelled it. It smelled really uh, citrusy. Like it was a very good citrus scent. So I grabbed that and then oat blossom. I liked the way it smelled. It was a um, more, I guess, mild scented soap. So I grabbed that one too. So I grabbed two of each of them. I figured we can use them in the kitchen or in the bathrooms. We have two bathrooms here, so we can use them in either place. So we gra I grabbed that and I had, and I bought a rebate. It was a dollar back on each of the bottles of soap up to five so I like grabbing even numbers I don't like doing the odd numbered thing so I grabbed even numbers so I got five dollars back on the Mrs. Myers total so I got a dollar each one so that's a good deal and if you haven't yet downloaded the Ibotta app or haven't heard of it or seen anything about it you should check it out I should try and link that down below for you guys I think I might have like a code it's not an affiliate I don't get paid by them to share it it's just something I have seen and loved and I use and it gets me money back so there's that and then I also grabbed the afresh because there was an Ibotta rebate on it and it was on any size so I grabbed the value pack and I use these, the Afresh, on my washing machine. I use it once a month. So I I think I'm down to like the last couple tablets on it. So I grabbed another box and there are five tablets in there. So that lasts almost half a year. That's a good deal in my book. So I grabbed that and that was an Ibotta deal. The soap was Ibotta. Pepsi was Ibotta. Thomas Bagels, Ibotta rebate. And I think that was it for the Ibotta rebates. But I also ended up grabbing some bow tie pasta for a change up in our pastas. I have penne and spaghetti noodles in our pantry already. So I just figured it'd be good to have this on hand and it's good until March of 2024. March of 2024, so it's good for quite some time. And then I grabbed these for my feet. I use them when I take a bath and they get my heels soft and I love having them. And I end up getting rid of one after a little while of having it so I just grabbed a couple of them just to have in the bathroom for whenever I decided to take a bath and like actually sit in a bathtub and soak my feet and then use those so there are those as well oh I almost ended this video out without showing you guys the dresses that I got these are time and true from Walmart I got grabbed the size extra large and I think they all they were all that size this dress has these cute like ruffles like not ruffle but uh cinched like cap sleeves and it's a tiered dress but it also has pockets and it came in this really pretty blue color and then this really pretty coral color and they were $14.98 a piece and then I also grabbed one of these t-shirt dresses and I believe this was time and true as well this was from time and true as well and it was an extra large and this one was $9.98 for that one and it's sleeveless so it's like a tank dress tank top dress and it the neckline looks like it goes up pretty good and then it also had pockets in it and that's why I grabbed it because otherwise I would just go with my old navy ones I love those they last forever but this one had pockets in it and I can't pass up something with pockets so I grabbed those if you guys would like to see a haul of like Walmart Costco clothes please leave a comment down below and let me know that you'd be interested in that because I would totally love to do a try on haul of my Walmart Costco finds because they are really good deals and and are really cute things and affordable so I want to share that with you guys and if you guys liked this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please hit the red subscribe button and join my YouTube family I'd love to have you here and I hope you guys like this one I appreciate each and every one of you who have already subscribed and continue keep to keep coming back to my videos and I will see you guys in the next one bye